I just want to thank everyone from TEDx Ottawa for choosing Kiva and uh, giving us this platform to talk about it. Uh, so uh, Chris mentioned and asked, how many of you know about Kiva and who here is a Kiva lender? Wow. So we have lots of, lots of Kiva love here tonight, um, or this afternoon still. Uh, so I'm going to tell you a little bit more about Kiva. And uh, for those who don't know, you'll get to know a little bit about it. And I'll tell you how exactly I'm involved. So give a man a fish, and you feed him for a day. Uh, teach a man to fish, and you feed him for a lifetime. We've all heard this before. But what if he knows how to fish, but just can't afford the fishing net? To me, this is a quote that encapsulates microfinance, or microcredit, microlending, and Kiva. Uh, it's about providing these small loans to entrepreneurs, uh, mainly in developing countries, people who have no collateral, uh, they have no credit history, and they often need funds that are, the loan sizes are too small for, uh, for traditional banks. Uh, okay. They, what they do have is the ability to pay back these loans. They definitely have the need and they have the desire to work themselves out of poverty. And that's kind of where Kiva comes in. So what is Kiva.org? Kiva.org is the world's first person-to-person micro-lending site. It's an online platform that connects people uh, through lending for the sake of alleviating poverty. Uh, it takes people uh, like you, like me, and gives us the opportunity to support uh, individual entrepreneurs uh, in developing countries. So when you go to the site, you go to the Lend tab, and what it looks like, it looks like eBay basically, but instead of choosing to buy something, you get to support an entrepreneur. So in this case, uh, just a simple screenshot, when you click on the Lend tab, you can see that uh, the top of the list we have Lucretia uh, in Peru who needs $300. And so you see her picture, uh, you see where she's located, and you can read a little bit about her story. Uh, and so she's from a town near Cusco, Peru. Uh, she sells in a market in Ollante Tambo. And she sells uh, ground pepper and spices, and she needs this loan to purchase uh, products in bulk so that she can go to the market and make, uh, make some money. Uh, you can click on, on the Lend tab, uh, and you lend $25. So for her loan, there were 10 people from around the world who came together to give her that money. There were five Americans, one Canadian, uh, two Brits, an Aussie, and a German, all lent to, to, her, to get her that money. And she'll repay that loan in uh, eight, eight payments. And uh, so, uh, a little bit more about Kiva. Kiva is a relatively young organization. We just celebrated the, uh, its fourth birthday. And in that time, uh, Kiva has been able to lend over $100 million uh, from individuals to entrepreneurs in developing countries. This $100 million, which was a huge barrier, uh, a huge milestone for Kiva to achieve, and it came from over 600,000 people from around the world. These people come from 188 countries. Uh, to be honest, I didn't even know there were 188 countries in the world, <laughs> let alone that there are people in these places who are willing to lend their hard-earned money. Uh, where did this go? This, this money went to help over 260,000 entrepreneurs who needed these funds. And 82.5% uh, of them, of the people being served, are women. Uh, and they're located in 49 countries. They're in, uh, in Asia, in Africa, in Latin America, in the Caribbean, and in North America, Eastern Europe as well. And they have a 98% repayment rate, which is unbelievable. So these people with no collateral, no credit history, many of whom have no education or little formal education and no formal business training, have been able to pay 98%, pay back 98% of these loans. So if we've lent $100 million, that's $98 million that's been paid back by people who have been excluded from traditional financial sources because banks think that they're not able to repay. Uh, microfinance and, and Kiva have shown that this isn't the case. And so on Kiva, the stats that I got, I think this morning, uh, we show that one loan is being made every 13 seconds. 
uh, and it's just been an incredible success. So how does this really all work? Well, here's how it begins. It begins with the field partner. Uh, and they are the ones on the ground, the local microfinance institution, and they meet with the borrowers. They are the professionals that are out in the communities and getting to know what's going on. And they'll meet and decide if, if this person is worthy of a loan or not, if it's an individual or a group. And often, that loan gets distributed right then. The field partner then uploads all this information, the picture, uh, to Kiva. Kiva lenders on the internet then come together to fund this loan request. Uh, and this is done uh, on the site through PayPal, which provides its services to Kiva for free. Kiva then sends those funds to the local field partner. And then, usually weekly, sometimes monthly, the entrepreneur makes their repayments. The field partner takes these repayments and sends them back to Kiva. Kiva gives it back to you, the lender. And you can choose to either relend that money again, you can donate it to Kiva if you want, uh, because every cent that you lend goes to that entrepreneur. Kiva doesn't keep a single penny from that. So if you'd wish to donate to Kiva afterwards, that's up to you. Or you can withdraw the money through PayPal uh, and keep it, just take it out. So what's my role in all this? I was what's known as a Kiva Fellow. So what is a Kiva Fellow? Kiva Fellow is an unpaid uh, volunteer, uh, and we get to uh, travel abroad to see firsthand the impact of microfinance. We're also in a unique position to interact with all the different stakeholders in the Kiva process. We interact with uh, the lender, uh, so that's some of you, uh, whether it's on our blog or when we write journal updates and send you uh, how the entrepreneur that you supported is doing, we send you uh, updates. We also get to interact with uh, Kiva itself and the staff uh, during our week of training. We sat down with Matt Flannery and Premal Shaw to talk about what's going on at Kiva. We get uh, behind the scenes and into the software to figure out how IT is being used in development and connecting people. We interact with this field partner who really is the, the unsung hero in all this. They're the development professionals on the ground in these 49 countries. And there are, I think right now, 106 of these field partners on Kiva. And uh, they're our hosts for the time that we're there. And uh, they take us out and introduce us to their client and the local market. Uh, we also train them on uh, Kiva process and uh, how better to do things online and to connect with the lenders because for a lot of them uh, some of this technology is very very new and then most importantly at least for me was the interaction with the Kiva borrowers uh, these entrepreneurs uh, we would go to their homes we go to their businesses we ask them how things are going uh, we hear their stories we talk to them and then we report back uh, so uh, the Kiva Fellow is not a really, it's an individual position, uh, but at the same time, uh, there's a Kiva Fellows class. So there are about 30 of them in my class. I'm uh, over there on your left, on the top corner. Uh, and they come from a variety of backgrounds, uh, of education, of ages, uh, and each one of them was sent to a different uh, field partner. Uh, we've all come together because we have that passion for microfinance and that Kiva love that I was talking about. And what, what, what it really did was provide a network of support because we're all sent out individually, often into very difficult situations in impoverished neighborhoods. And just online, on emails, on the wiki, we share, uh, share the experience with each other and provide each other with support. So after my week of training at Kiva headquarters, which was an intense week with these people, uh, I was sent to Lima, Peru. I was there for three months from June of this year to the end of August, uh, 12 weeks spent uh, with one of the field partners called Era Prospo. Uh, Era Prospo has been working in Lima, Peru for uh, about 31 years. Uh, they've been on Kiva for uh, two years now, and they have over 900 clients uh, that they lend to. They have six branches around town in the north and the east of Lima. 
and uh, they took me out. I got to see each of these six branches and get to meet the people. One of the most exciting things for me was to see Akiva Loan get distributed. That money that, that we've, we've lent online with a click, I got to go and see that money be handed out. Uh, let's see if the video plays. So here I drove out to a town in, uh, in an area called Warochiri, and uh, we went to see the group meeting. And I got to meet the people, and this is where we took their picture that you see on the Kiva site. So after that, they all signed their loan agreement and made their mark with their fingerprint uh, because there are times where they might not be able to uh, write their name. So things are, are done with a fingerprint. And then after everyone is signed, the, the big finish is when the, the loan actually gets distributed. Okay, okay. she doesn't look so excited, but... <laughs> From, from what I can tell, she received about 200 soles, uh, which today translates to about $78 loan. Uh, she can do a lot with that, but it really isn't that big a loan. Uh, the way microfinance tends to work is if you pay back one cycle, the next time uh, your, your amount increases. Uh, this is just the beginning of the cycle with Kiva and with these entrepreneurs. The other part of my job is to meet with them uh, at the end of their loan to see how things went. So this is um, Maritza Cifuentes, uh, and she lives and works in a neighborhood in northern Lima uh, called Los Olivos. And she is someone who, she knows how to fish, but she couldn't afford the net. So I met her here. Uh, this is her home. It's her business, and it's her restaurant. Uh, so her restaurant is her dining room, it's her living room, it's her family room, den, whatever you want to call it. It's everything in her house that isn't a bedroom, the kitchen, or the washroom. And so this is her restaurant. It has three tables. And she needed a loan to try and expand her business. Uh, and she used her money uh, uh, to expand. She now has a takeout. Uh, she takes orders over the phone. And she built a display where can sh she sells additional items. She was able to buy a candy cart, which she rolls out uh, in front of a school and sells money that way. Uh, she inspired me uh, with her dedication, with her perseverance, and she really had an entrepreneurial spirit. She was in a number of different businesses. Uh, I brought with me, when I went to speak with her, a copy, uh, a printout of her Kiva profile, which, for those of you who have lent, uh, you see their story at the beginning, you see information along the side, but you also get to see the pictures of all of you, all of the Kiva lenders uh, that supported her. And so I asked her if there was anything she wanted to say uh, to her Kiva lenders. And uh, this video is, is, is what she had to say. Agradecerle que gracias a ellos nosotros hemos surgido, al menos yo sí doy gracias a Dios que he surgido, he podido salir adelante de mi hogar con mis hijos, ya, con mis hijos porque también a mi esposo lo despidieron del trabajo y con ese dinero en realidad nosotros sí nos ha ayudado bastante ya, y que el Señor le dé más bendiciones a ellos para que ellos sigan ayudando a otras personas porque así como nosotros necesitamos, hay muchas personas que necesitan más. So that was Maritza's message to her Kiva lenders. Now, as she sat there at the table with her, with her profile, and she was looking at the pictures of the people that lent her money, she said something to me that I didn't think I understood. She told me that these people, the Kiva lenders, inspired her. And my Spanish is pretty good. Um, you know, I've lived in Mexico, Guatemala, Nicaragua, Chile, Peru. But I thought she was wrong. She's the one that inspires us. She's the reason her efforts to work herself out of poverty and provide a better future for her children are the reasons that we participate. But she said no. It was the Kiva lenders that inspired her. 
And she explained that she had trouble getting credit locally from people she knew. Uh, she can't go to the bank down the street because she didn't have enough uh, for her to lend. But people on the internet, people she'd never met, these Kiva lenders, uh, supported her. So uh, people like Sherilyn in Pennsylvania uh, believed in her, and that meant so much to her. So people like Maria and her daughter Elizabeth, through this loan, they empowered her to do something more with her life and for her children. Someone like Peja from Bosnia, a, co a country that itself is rebuilding and a recipient of Kiva loans, trusted her with his hard-earned money uh, to make a better life. And organizations like the Mermaid Inn support her. The Mermaid Inn in New York is another fish restaurant. And so they got involved and supported other <coughs> fish merchants and uh, to, to, for her to know that these people were out there you, Kiva Lender, inspire her. And so this whole idea of Kiva, that loans that changed lives, yes, it changed her life. It definitely changed my life to go out there and to see what was going on at Kiva. But uh, all of you who are Kiva Lenders should know that uh, it can change your life uh, lending as well. Uh, and that essentially was what I did for three months, going out and meeting with these borrowers. Um, and so now there's an opportunity for all of you to get involved with Kiva if you wish. Uh, uh, TEDx Ottawa has a lending team. It's a, it's, a, it's a tool to build community around Kiva. Uh, and our goal is to raise $1,500 uh, on, on Kiva. It's not even raise. It's to lend uh, $1,500 as a group. So uh, if you sign on to Kiva, uh, this evening, tomorrow, the next day, you can join a lending team. So you join the TEDx Ottawa team and have your loan count towards that team, and it will raise our our uh, our total. Uh, so as you're thinking about things like, I don't know, uh, Christmas presents, maybe it's uh, for staff or coworkers. Uh, there are Kiva gift certificates to get other people involved, and so I'd encourage you all. Uh, it's a wonderful organization. Uh, it made a big difference uh, in my life, and to meet these people was a truly remarkable experience. Awesome. Thank you.